Hello, brick laying tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Banished with the Colonial Charter mod and me, Blue Inkilo. So, last episode, I was confuzzled uh, a little bit about uh, how to make uh, bricks. And uh, we knew that um, the, the shoring, shore house, sorry, can make clay. And we've, we've heard that, uh, where is it in here? Resources. The one with the shovel. Uh, it mentions that uh, you know you should be able to make brick. You, sh you should be able to turn the clay into bricks at a brick maker. Well, that makes sense. But I couldn't find how to build a brick maker. I actually had to look it up on the wiki for the mod. Um, this is probably what I would have tried eventually. Um, was it the charcoal burner? I think it's the charcoal burner. It doesn't really mention anything about bricks, as far as I can see. It's just charcoal. Um, but I guess what it does is you build this. And then when you upgrade it, um, you can upgrade it to a brick layer. So I'm going to try to get that going. Uh, it looks like it's a fairly large building. Can't, uh, there's no way I can squish it in there. I, I could probably build it over here without too much problem. Um, if I want to. I mean, I was thinking about putting more mines over here. But I mean, I can demolish all this stuff and move it later on if I really need to. I think this is fine for now. So let's get a, uh, a charcoal burner for now. Hopefully we've got... We might not have enough clay, I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, we've totally got enough clay. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to see... Probably there isn't an easy way to see um, how much of each resource we have yet. Uh, once we get that town hall going, I'll be able to look up probably detailed, you know, how much clay, how much... Well, we know stone and iron, but how much clay, how much coal, how much uh, glass, bricks, you know, all that stuff. The secret stuff. So, um, we've got tons of laborers. They should carry the stuff over here relatively quickly. Let's put the time a little bit quicker than one time. One time's mode, just nothing ever gets done, basically. But, uh, that was good. So I get that building, and then I'll probably do a couple more houses. And then, um, hopefully if we have some glass and some bricks, I can start building, um, you know, different houses when I do my town center. Um, I'd like to try count, what do they call them? country houses because they are well they're four by four as well isn't there one that's three by four ah yes town abodes um from what i read most of these houses have upgrades like we already know wooden house goes to stone house stone house should upgrade to the country house and i think there's like a fancy or a special country house that you can upgrade it to eventually um, town abode should have a couple upgrades, and large residence should have a couple upgrades. Um, so with bricks, I could technically go all the way to large residences. I think they take up too much space for me right now. So I want to get either town abodes or country houses to go to start. Um, and I was looking into it, uh, we'll just let some time pass here. Up to four people is probably okay. Like, I thought with the tiny shack, up to three was a little bit small. Um... But, I mean, you look at my houses. This guy's got five. But this this Derrico guy, he should really move out. So if I just build another house, we're fine. Um, most houses seem to get between two and four people in my estimation. Unless I'm not building enough houses. In which case, all I gotta do is just keep building more houses and they'll just move out. Just, just lickety split. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a bunch of town abodes. That will save me overall quite a lot of space because every uh basically four squares worth of space every time so i think that's kind of plan we have the goods all delivered let's just go with a couple more wooden houses for now obviously there's people that need to move out and i would argue that our food is good although our clothing is a little bit weak i gotta get trading going pretty soon so i can try to get some animals Otherwise, I maybe I just need another hunting cabin because we're not getting enough uh, leather to make enough clothing, basically, the way I understand it. So uh, I'm going to have to get going on that pretty soon. We do have harsh winters, so uh, you don't want everyone to die. But let's get this charcoal burner done first, and uh, I guess we'll just put in a couple more lab builders for now. I've actually got quite a few spare laborers at the moment, which is really nice. Um, still some students coming along. It's all good. Everything's, everything's going well for now. Okay, it only takes one worker. 
Um, but that's just charcoal. Like, to start with, it's only charcoal, which is not really what I want anyway, to be honest. Uh, here you go. Brickworks. 60 sand or clay? I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to queue that up. Uh, let's see if I can set it high priority as well. I don't know if that really makes much difference. To be honest, I haven't really seen priority do anything yet. But, uh, it's better, better safe than sorry. <laughs> Looks like we're making quite a lot of sand and stuff. I assume our glassworks is in full production, hopefully. I did cut the workers in half, so, you know, if we have, like, once I get the town hall, if I, if I find out I have an excess of sand, uh, I can put it up to two workers. Still not a lot of medicine. I really do need another forest area getting, to go, getting going pretty soon. Get some more hunting, some more gathering, and eventually some, uh, well, I don't need it right now, but eventually I'll need, like, incoming uh, log, like uh, renewable log income. You know what I mean. Alright, so they tear it down. Another time, so when you're doing these upgrades, having a storage pile or stockpile next door would be really handy. Because then these guys would just move it there, and then when they start building it. I mean, they need all this stuff to build it anyway, basically, so it's kind of funny. It is also interesting to keep in mind that the cost for the brickworks would be a bit less than what all these say. Because, like, when you, when you, when we built our, um, charcoal, what's it called? Charcoal burner, we used 48 stone and 28 iron. We should have gotten 24 stone and 14 iron back. So, you can kind of subtract those from the totals because they sort of came with it. The reserves of stone! Ah, right, I never did get a quarry going. I suppose because there's upgrades for mines, and I believe quarries as well, it's not as important that I hide it, like, way out in the corner, because, remember, quarries kind of permanently damage the spot. But if you can keep making them bigger, assumedly, um, with candles and stuff, um, they should last a lot longer, is what I'm thinking. But, I mean, I, I am out of stone here, so let's, uh... Let's try to pick some up if we can. Oh yeah, we got we got tons of stone, so there you go. That'll keep the the laborers busy for a while. We did get our houses built and people moved in right away. And I suppose while I'm looking at this, I want to keep up our pattern. Gotta queue up that road. I don't think it's appropriate to build stone roads until you uh, have a quarry. Although, noticing now, we can follow the yellow brick road. Um, that's probably what I'll do, because I think bricks will be more renewable than stone. Um, they might take more labor, because you have to make clay and then upgrade it into bricks out of brickwork. Assuming they don't take any other resources. Uh, but I think that might be really nice. Anything you can build out of bricks instead of stone, I think that might be a really good idea, actually. So, it's kind of my plan, now that I've noticed it. Looks like we're not making enough sand to keep the glassworks at full capacity. We're probably making enough beeswax to keep the chandlery. Chandlery. Is it chandlery? Chandlery or chandlery? Candlery? Because it's a candle? Mm, I don't know. Still just beeswax is good. I like the apiary. I think it's a nice little addition to the town. Not super beneficial for food, but it does add another supply chain that's pretty pretty useful. Surprise, we got 868 peas this year. <laughs> Is it going to be 868 from every field every time? I mean, I seem to remember last game, uh, a 10 by 10 square gave us 700 reasonably, uh, fairly reliably, I guess you could say. Unless there was like an early frost or something. Maybe 11 by 11 is just always 868. I thought it was going to be about 1,000, but... Uh, this is going to be awfully close. Yeah, 868 on the dot. Well, that's fine. If you can make 868 food per year with one worker, that's pretty solid. Definitely going to keep building more uh, farms once we get on the other side here, basically. Uh, our stone is coming in. We do have an awful lot of stone over here. It's another giant lake over here, by the way. 
have to decide like which side I want the uh, the trading dock on, and then I'll probably want fishing and shore houses. I want to spread them out, you know, efficiently, because wherever I put the shore houses, I'm gonna want to put those beside the new. Eventually, I'll build another brickworks and another uh, glassworks, and I'll want to put them kind of close to the shore, so a little bit less walking back and forth and stuff, a little bit more efficient. So, uh, eventually these things will all get demolished, but uh, I just, I'd like to get some basic bricks and glass to start with so that I can sort of see all the resource chains first, and then I'll build a, a better permanent one once we, once we know what's going on. Okay, so what's next? Um, laborers should be relatively busy. Food is done. I'm really just waiting for sand. Oh! Oh, I didn't even notice. I thought it was clay again. Uh, you can... Hold on. I want all sand to go to the brickworks. It's almost got enough. But I, sh I should have done that earlier. I, I should have turned the glassworks off until we had enough to finish this. Okay. Probably going to want more than a single sand shore house and a single clay shore house. I'm also curious how many turtles and frogs you would get with one worker. Because it doesn't feel like there's any, um, like it might not be good to be in the same radius as a fishing dock for the fish. But other than that, I don't think it matters. Like I could put a whole bunch of shore houses all right beside each other. I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. I have a fair bit of iron. Uh, I'm not... Oh, yeah, I can see irons there. Let's, uh... Because I'm at almost 200 iron, basically the max, let's switch it back to coal for now. Maybe put a couple more in there. Oops, wrong button. Who's my... Oh, that's my, uh, glass maker. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn that back on in a minute. Yeah, I'll turn it back on right now, in fact. There we go. All right, let's see, let's see what it takes to make bricks. I do like these little shore houses. I think that's a good addition too. So, so far, honestly, I think pretty much all the, uh, the new buildings are pretty cool in this mod as far as I can see. Really nice, I don't know exactly how they did it, but they've made the, um, the textures, like the, the buildings, they really fit in well with the, uh, the vanilla buildings, I, I think. I think it looks really nice. People making their honey over there. Good job working with the bees. Maybe put one more builder just to speed that up a little bit. I really should get a town hall before too long. So I can see my exact numbers. I, I am amazed that it's just 868 every time. That's great. I could start... I think I should put a uh, another wooded area down here. It's a long way away, but I've got most of the road built, which is half the battle. Yeah, as soon as as soon as our brick maker's done, I'll start working on that. We've got enough laborers. I want to get some some lumber income. Okay, so one worker takes firewood and clay. That's tough. I could also use coal and clay. Let's tentatively go with that, because we have a coal mine right next door. And that'll start making us some clay. Or, sorry, bricks. So we, I think I know what most of the symbols are now, all the new symbols for resources. Which is half the battle. Maybe even two-thirds of the battle. <laughs> Alright, so... Spring is upon us. Spring has sprung. Let's, uh, queue up another... I don't know if I'm gonna bother with a gathering hut. Maybe. Probably. Probably will. Uh, Forester's Lodge. Okay, so get an idea for the radius. Might as well put it as close as I can. And we'll put it there. And then... Oh man, those trees, they really get in the way. There it is. Okay. Bam. And this is going to take a lot of of work time to get all finished. Um, so I wanted a forester's lodge for sure, a hunting lodge, probably. I imagine it's gonna take us a while to actually get cows and stuff so we can get leather, and I need clothing like pretty much right now. So let's put in a uh, food hunter. 
Okay. So, forest, hunt, and I think that's good for now. I might put in a gatherer as well as a, uh, a herbalist once these are set up and working. They're just not as high priority at this exact second. Uh, again, I might as well throw in a stockpile down here. I think they still have to remove a couple trees before it gets set, but uh, I think it'll save a bit of time. And let's bump up the uh, constructors a little bit and get this road in there. Where is it? That's the one. So do I want it? Do I want the road? No, that's... Do we go with the diagonal road or the dumb road? No, we go with the diagonal road. That's going to make a lot more... That's going to be a lot more efficient for our pathers. I'm sure they'll take the road once that's built. At least it's a road. It's better than nothing. One day we'll have yellow brick roads. Maybe even red brick roads. That'd be cool if you could dye your bricks, to be honest. And then build them in a big circle coming from the center of the town. A bunch of munch. Never mind, never mind. Stop all your head, Blue. The Wicked Witch comes. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, I gotta build a town hall so I can see how much of these I got. I have very little idea. Uh, I will probably end up putting a storage barn and a couple more houses nearby for this area. Probably. Yeah, probably like right here, maybe. Yeah, just out of range. Yeah. I'll just I'll decide later. For now, they can walk a million miles, which is bad. Very inefficient. And then this area, once it's all set up, I might I might just ditch this area, put in another farm or two, and uh, prepare for crossing the river. Haven't seen this uh, with the uh, little insufficient supplies yet. Seems like we're getting enough clay and coal, hopefully. We'll transfer over a couple workers once we've got the lodge and the cabin finished. Just gotta bring over all the resources right now, no, no problem. Looks like they built that road at a good pace. Nice to see. Always happy to see a good road. <laughs> Finish planting. Get to work, farmers. Get to work, lazy farmers. I want to see peas all over the place. Yeah, I want to see pea all over the place. Careful what you say on the internet, kids. It's actually a really nice looking stockpile. <laughs> I just, I like how it all stacks up. 14 kids, 8 students, 46 adults. I'm impressed that our uh, population is seeming to grow at a good rate. I haven't really been micromanaging the, the housing and the population very much, and it seems to be working out. Hmm. I'll put another housing block here. Pretty sure that'll fit. And then, I mean, I can just put more houses along the side of the road if I want. I could try out some of the other houses. I, I don't think it really matters. Country houses take a lot of stone. They're like upgraded stone houses. But town abodes, it might be a good idea. A little bit of stone, a little bit of iron, a fair bit of wood. I'll think about it. They're certainly, like, space efficient, basically. 3x4 is nice. Okay, the lodge should be done shortly. It's actually quite a lot of stone and stuff to collect in its radius, which I believe they do. Um, I've got lots of workers. Let's just queue this up for now. Fill it up. Got four more laborers. We'll probably put three of them in the lodge, the hunting lodge. That will fill up most of our uh, work. Work, work, work. So, I'm concerned. Yeah, let, let's put the log limit a little bit higher. I was kind of concerned that they might not pick up the stones and stuff if they're at the log limit because it turns the building off instead of, like, if they only go out to collect, maybe they only collect logs if you're under the log limit and then they clean up the resources while they're at it. But I don't know for sure. 
I know they're supposed to clean up the stones and stuff in their radius. But... Either way, we'll be fine. Sand. How's the fishing going these days? 1,600 fish from four people? It's acceptable. It's not farming territory good, but it's not bad. Four people, 2,000 fish. That's like 500 food per person. Pretty good. Farms really do seem to be the best right now. If you can get, you know, almost 900 for one worker per year, that's... That's the best, definitely. People told me to get farms going, so I got my farms. I guess the Gathering Hut can be that good. I have seen 800 900s for four people. So, 4,000, nearly 4,000 for four people. But, uh, it just takes up a ton of space. Peas. How did the Forester's Lodge get peas? <laughs> what is going on out here in the middle of the woods? Uh, medicine is getting better for sure. Maybe... Hmm. I mean, I'd be tempted to just keep the herbalist here and then I could destroy, like, the gatherer's hut and the hunting pen. But I think, honestly, I want to... This is such an inefficient use of the tree-type buildings that I'm just going to get rid of it all before too much longer. Once we've got a good replacement, maybe build another replacement on this side or something. Because we need one for actually harvesting trees at the very least, and then maybe if it's large enough we'll still get herbs out of it, I don't know for sure. They're not seeming to collect this stone very efficiently. Let's just queue it up. I don't know for sure. I, I thought that was how it was supposed to work, that they would pick up stone in their nearby zone, kind of. But it's not really looking like it, is it? Still got a small, a small stockpile, which is fine for now. It's going to be really nice to have, like, um, the vendors to move stuff around in larger stacks. Save a lot of time. Also be nice to have better roads. And cars. Mine carts. That'd be cool. If you could if you could set up, like, a trolley or something. You could, you could use, like, a, a raft or something to go up rivers quicker. Quicker than people walk, at least. Maybe not a raft, but a canoe. <laughs> Seems like we could have canoes. I like the, the trees trying to grow brack, grow brack, but uh, we're going to have to chop them down again. Still enough clay, hopefully enough coal. The fuel limit is 600. Right, it's combined between firewood and coal, so it's hard to say how much we have total. Like, how much of each. Total's easy! <laughs> it's the how much of each that's difficult. Oh, yeah. Notifications. Uh, we got the hunting cabin. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's get that going. Hopefully get enough, uh... Hides to, uh... To get the clothing, because we are kind of out of clothes. So I'm worried that, like new children or new graduates just don't get anything right now, which would be pretty bad. Not really what I want to have happen. So, how do we finish this area up? Foresters, hunting... Do I just build the uh, gatherer and the herbalist? Or do I skip the gatherer, just put a herbalist, call it good? I think that's what we do. And then I feel okay chopping this down. I mean, okay, can we handle to make maybe a little over a thousand food a year less. Right now, we're definitely gaining more food than we're eating. If I lost a thousand a year, would it still be okay? I don't know. Probably, but it's hard to say for sure. Actually, it's more than that. If I get rid of the hunting cabin, um, well, it'd be about 1,500 a year, maybe. Probably not a great idea. Unless I build another farm. Ah, uh, yeah! So if I destroy this area, build like one or two more farms somewhere around here, then we'll be fine. And it'll take less workers overall. Okay, that's the plan. Gotta think about the food. So, herbalist, that's what I was thinking. Uh, 
I would rather the herbalist was on the closer side because people go to visit the herbalist, I believe. Let's just get rid of this little stockpile. It's kind of kind of needs to go. To empty it out first, as always. I'm not getting anyone freezing to death notices or anyone's out of clothing, which is nice. I'm just glad our uh, harsher conditions haven't really caused us too many problems. It's definitely snowier in the winter than last map, but uh, we seem to be doing pretty good, I guess. Also, when we clear this area, we'll get a whole bunch of logs again, which is good. Let's, uh, again, because I'm kind of messing around here, I think we'll save a lot of time if I just put a little stockpile over here. Because you can see people taking stuff away, and at least this will give them a halfway point. They can drop it there, and then they can either pick up more and put it there, or take someone can take it from here into the next storage barn. Maybe. If they're smart. My little sim, my little ants running around doing my work. Shoreman. All I wanted to do was grow up to turn into a shoreman. Okay, one piece of stone remains. Someone get it. And then I can queue up my... Herbalist. Lots of children being born and people growing up. I'm happy to see the town doing well. I actually think, other than that little bump after we built the school for an episode, I think uh, the town is doing, it's really, it's on really good track. Come on, someone pick up the stone. What's wrong with you guys? It's probably been assigned to one person way over there. He's going to walk all the way down to get the stone, even though there's other people nearby that could have done it way quicker. Come on. Who's the lucky guy? Or gal? I'll take anybody right now. Just get that out of the way. <laughs> Everyone's just going off to chop down trees or... I don't know what they're doing out in those bushes. Take Going on a date. <laughs> Come on, people! Oh! Yes! Haha! <laughs> All right, now we just gotta chop down a couple more trees. Get a herbalist. Could I really have a town with no gathering hut? It seems like blasphemy. It's totally blasphemy. I can't. Ugh. I can't do it. I can't not have at least one gathering hut. It's just I just can't. I can't not have one, because I'm planning on demolishing the other, and I just can't skip it. It's impossible. Once those two are built, I'll probably put a couple more houses over here in a storage barn. And then I'll consider this area kind of done for now. And we'll clear this out, build another couple farms. By then we should have some glass, some bricks, some coal, hopefully a little bit more clothing. And one of these days we're going to start building a proper market village. That's the other thing this place is missing, is a market. Although, I mean, with the storage barns, they seem to be doing just fine. Also, I mean, uh, I do know, I do recognize, there's all kinds of new storage barns. Storage barn type things. I don't think there's any good uh, good point to, uh, to building more iron tools. Now, 50 is fine. Um, can I... I could upgrade to a large smithy and start making steel tools. Let's see why not. Let's we're at the fuel limit. Let's upgrade that. Let's really go wild here and keep getting more uh, coal. Now that we have two things that use coal, kind of want to make sure I get enough. Well, two plus every building on the map, every house on the map uses up some coal. So, uh, 
firewood or coal at the very least. Some bricks. 24 bricks, 24 glass. Downtown, 24, 64. Farmer, 3. <laughs> Got candles. Yeah, it's not bad. The game must prioritize kind of splitting up the resources. It's got it, right? Like, how would there be, like, bricks at every, um, at every barn? No, there's no vendors moving it around. It's just someone takes the bricks here, someone takes the bricks to the next one, someone takes the bricks over here. It's got to be something like that. Something. What are these people whining about? You got no job. You're a blacksmith? Oh, right, yeah. Well, your job will be back. We just gotta get this thing built. Luckily, there is a resource pile right beside it, so very convenient. No one's really rushing to get these gathering hut herbalist things opened up. I guess I don't have as many spare laborers and builders as I used to. I gave everybody jobs. Let's, uh, take it back a little bit just to get some stuff carried around a little bit quicker. And I mean, I also set up, I forgot, a huge gather all these stones uh, task, which may not have been the best idea I ever had. Just too big, too much at once. Try the old priority trick. I'd rather them you know, clear out this stuff, then pick up a stone over here. They should prioritize that on their own, honestly. Clearing space for building should be higher priority than getting rid of a stone on the other side of the map. Are we getting some leather in here yet? This one. Yeah, starting to actually got quite a bit of leather on its first year. That's not bad. 18 leather there. How much did we get at our old one? actually got more leather and meat at the new hunting cabin in the first year than we did on the regular basis at this old one. Yeah, this area is just not that good for hunting and gathering. And we knew that. It's just we needed a temporary initial startup, that's all. I have to imagine we're doing pretty good on coal. But I mean, we do use firewood to make glass. I can change that to coal as well. Hmm. I'm gonna leave this one as firewood for now. I do have firewood, right? I'm not like out of it. It's hard to say. I may be running out of firewood for all I know. I've only got one... No. No. With that much stored fuel, there's no way. Sure, we got 148 coal here, but there's got to be some firewood around. In the houses, I guess. That must be where it's all. That's how... Must count inside the houses for the total there. It's gotta. Once we get to steel tools, there should be a... Uh, a sort of lumber mill that can uh, make firewood quicker. But it did say it needed steel tools. We are running out of... What? Does it not have enough of? Ten of each. It doesn't tell me very much, but... Oh, well, I'll just let it go. Let it go, they say. Alright, Gatherer's Hut completed. Herbalist not nearly there. As soon as this is done, I think I'll uh, turn the, the nearby one off. Turn it off as in demolish it all. It's a nice little hamlet. Let me guess, 868? Oh, blasphemy! What happened? 724 one year, 461 the next year? This one got I 840. We must have had an early snow last year or something. We're gonna get another early snow this year, or just slow harvest. Come on, give me my peas. Get to work. 690, 
So it looks like he got all of it, and it still wasn't 8 868 like it was the first few years. Weird. Huh, I never thought the 868 train would break. Alright, Herbalist is complete. Gatherer's Hut is complete. Hunting, forestrying, forestering. We can put this up to max. And we'll just chop this stuff, but we'll just turn these all. We'll just demolish it, basically. Now, there's a couple pros and cons. One of the cons I see is if people have to go to a herbalist to get medicine, which I kind of think they do, it means it's going to be a lot harder for people to get to this herbalist. That one. On the other hand, maybe, just maybe, there's a vendor for that that would be smart. Is there like a medicine vendor? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything that gives medicine. Textiles, proteins. Most of them are just food. Tools is low. Look, we had 50 a second ago. What's going on? Hold on. <laughs> Seriously, we had 50 tools a second ago. You guys are crazy. How did someone run out of tools that quickly? Youch. Like, I didn't even start upgrading this to a large smithy until I had 50 stocked up. Anyway, <laughs> steel tools. Wood plus iron plus coal. I guess that makes sense, but uh, it's going to be expensive. All right, well, steel it is. Feels like I'm clear cutting this too much. Just just plant for a while. I want to make sure these other things work. I've got spare uh, hunters. Hunters. Too many hunters. One herbalist is more than enough. Usually more than enough. And then two gatherers. I'll put four gatherers down here. Then I'm going to put yeah, two houses there, and I'll probably put a storage barn as well. Feels like the, the nice thing to do, basically. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll get a couple houses, storage barn, it's, it's four, five... Nine. I'm not going to put that many. So two, five, six, ten workers all together. Two is not enough. Two houses is not enough. You need like five houses for all that. But. Wow! Do tools break quicker in this mod than they used to? Come on, you guys. Give me my. Maybe I'm just used to steel tools in the original vanilla, but wow. It felt like I ran out of my tools supply really quickly. I only had 50, but I mean, we only have 55 adults. How could they burn through 50 tools so quickly and still run out? Like, that's horrible. So, while we're missing tools, we're going to have some poor efficiency. And I imagine it's going to take a little while for our... I think I put two now. Alright, double the... Maybe, maybe now that you can large smithy with two, two smiths, maybe they actually make tools faster as well. I can hope. Let's uh, set the stock up a little bit higher, the, the max limit a little bit higher this time around. Tools, yeah, yeah. There's not enough tools around. What a happy little herbalist. It does look like people travel to the herbalist to get heals. Which is just another reason to build a better road here. Suddenly I've got a lot of workers, by the way. How, about, how come nobody told me all of my children were growing up?
The next thing would definitely be the trader. Well, I guess it depends. Do I want to put the trader on this side or over here? Probably over here, to be honest. Let's see. Where is the trader after all? It's in... Trade. Well, that's, that's where we're looking. Trading post. Okay, so... Can I even put it on this side? Of course, uh, the road needs to be on, not in the water. Good job, Ankylo. Uh, oh, I can put it, like, right here. I mean, that's assuming... Assuming this all connects up with the, uh, the trade river. I want to make sure this hits... I think these wide rivers have to intersect the edge of the map. So it comes in on the south following it here and it exits to the west and that means there's no big rivers on the north or east this is like an isolated lake so I would imagine putting a trade depot on here if you can might not work for instance but the main the main thoroughfare should be fine looks like our uh, tool maker is making tools like crazy which is good to hear so, I mean, if I put it here, it interferes with my fishing dog. No matter where I put it, that's going to be an issue, basically. Because it cuts out on how many fishing docks I can build. Which is fine, honestly. I'm okay with that. What I'm thinking is I'll eventually take this stockpile out and then beside the um, trading post I'll put like some sort of resource holder and then we can ship resources to there and then into the trading post as needed kind of stuff. Something like that. I guess the trading post gets people to go pick stuff up anyway so it's not a big deal. Lots of spare laborers. Totally out of logs. Right. Now that this area is cleared... Let there be logs. Bam. So that should definitely solve our log shortage. Definitely, definitely. Not surprised this is building quickly. We've got like everything we need in the stockpile right across from it. And a lot of coal, too. We must be getting more coal than we need right now, which is... You can never have too much coal. I, I have actually got ten people in the mine. I must have a lot more workers than I'm, like, internalizing in my brain. <laughs> Interesting how there's a slot for a charcoal burner, and then they turn into brick workers later on. Brick makers. Definitely confusing at first, when if you didn't know how that upgrades. Yeah, this is going to disappear pretty quick. Yeah, 36 leather per season. That's way better than the one that was in town. And this is with, like, not that many... Not that many nearby houses or storage barns. So that's really nice. Gatherer's hut. I do think I'll still build a couple more houses over here after all. A couple more diagonal houses. I may clean that up later on, but it's, it's fine for now. Just whining about logs. You guys are always whining about something. builders for now. Yeah, we, have, we got lots of people working away. This is cool. I suppose this has been a pretty long episode again. Let's finish the trading dock at least and uh, then we'll call it good. Kind of got caught up in my expansion today. But I think it's been a good episode. Got lots done. Food is almost at 10,000, which is our cap. Probably will hit that right now thanks to the uh, harvest. 
In which case, uh, 10,000 becomes 20,000, honestly. I mean, of all the things to have a limit on, food is, like, you always need more. It's hard, because it doesn't seem to spoil, it's like, why would you not harvest as much as possible? Alright, we made it 840. Still not the magic 868, but at least it's pretty close. I'll take, I'll take 840. Okay, we've got our trading post. Um, yeah. I did never test out the auto purchase, auto purchase last time. I might set up some sort of auto purchase this time around. Might set up some industry that we just automatically purchase when it shows up. That might be kind of cool, hey? You could buy... I don't even know, herbs or something? Alcohol? Always need more booze. Um, I will assign, like, a single person to this. Most of the time they don't even do anything, to be honest. The trading post is a pretty boring job. Perfect job for some people. Plus, I don't think anyone's ever died being a vendor, as far as I know. Yeah, almost done with the trees. Good. You know, I'll, I'll call this a good point to wrap up. We started to expand across the river, guys. Started. <laughs> Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.